yeah, I like to feel needed. So it was a bit of a challenge, but I feel like ambitions has really helped me be like, okay, what is my role and where is my skill set best used? My mind set has flipped after ambitions. Before, I think I felt like I had to be on top of all of the operations and that was part of being a good leader. The programme made me really realise how to step back as a leader. Allowing yourself the ability to delegate some operational responsibilities to other people. Working in the business versus working on the business. And when I've sort of put myself down about not being very organised, it's not that you're not organised. Your brain works totally different, but it's not so good at sitting at a desk and getting like the paperwork done. In terms of operations, anything I can delegate, sort of techify, um, to free up time to then be outward facing um, and be the face of the organisation, be building relationships, I absolutely do. It was always a joke of like, are you the person that drives the van? Um, and yeah, we do outdoor events. I am the person that drives the van. Um, but I think I've really learned that I actually don't need to drive the van all the time and it's better for me and the organisation if I'm not doing that. That whole kind of like, oh, a virtual PA, like I never even thought of that. Like, yeah, of course we could maybe employ somebody we don't know at all to, to do something. And for us, that's not necessarily a traditional model where we've got a staff team that I can delegate to. It's thinking about the wider aspects of our network. It's thinking about the board. It's, it's been a huge relief to know that I can do that. It's been really empowering to be able to pass on some of those responsibilities. But also it's really boosted my confidence to sort of see that that is my identity and I'm good at that. There is something I've taken away as well about hat wearing as I would describe it. So there's certain days I'll get up and I'll say, right, today Mike is going to be an operational day, so I'm going to wear my operational hat. And then the following day I'll write, today is strategic day, so wear a different hat for the strategic day. The commercial aspect of the business, before I was so focused on the social impact, I think I missed that if we're not commercially successful, we won't have any social impact. So the professionalisation of what we do, making it more commercial, growing and scaling has meant we've had even more social impact. And I now get that those things go hand in hand. Ambitions has really helped me realise that you can do both and it's okay to pause occasionally on the operational side and give yourself that breath to think through strategically and give yourself that time to think strategically. So I need to make sure I adjust the people that are doing the operations, but I don't need to do all of the detail. And that's really then shifted space to think more strategically about the organisation and about what we're doing. The creativity is now boi it's boiling away in my head again because all the other stuff's kind of going to go elsewhere. Yeah, yeah it's like life changing. Yeah.